presentation is by Eric Smith. Okay, well, my name is Eric Snyder, and I'm presenting on the air velocity experiments that Jessica and I have been working on last week. An outline of what I'll be talking about is first, I'll go into an introduction of what we've done so far, followed by the instruments that we used, look at the experimental setup we came up with, and some results and conclusions we got from that. Um, an overview of basically what we did is um, we've been trying to determine air velocity of different fans down inside the lab. In order to determine air velocities, we used um, three different anemometers, which you see here. Um, the first one is the Taylor anemometer, which um, is pretty big, and you have to, it gives you a reading in feet, and you just time how long it runs. And then the other two would be the uh, turbo meter, which just gives you a reading in meters per second. And then finally was this X-Tech anemometer. Um, so far, we've only been able to measure one fan down in the lab, which would just be a, a standard box fan, as you see here. And um, we first took a reading in the middle of the fan just to see what kind of reading the device is read there, just for comparison. And uh, the results we got from that is the Taylor anemometer was reading around 30, 30 feet per minute, while the other two, well, the turbo anemometer was reading at zero. The uh, x -Tech was, um, we threw the data out because something with the motor was not causing it to run properly and it was reading over 200 feet per minute in the middle of the fan where there was, and it wasn't even turning, so something wasn't working right there. So we threw that data out. After determining the air velocity in the middle of the fan, we looked at the radius. We looked at the um, inner radius of the fan, which as you see here, we took a reading at four different spots around the inner radius of the fan, labeled 2, 3, 4, 5. And from that, we got results as shown here. Um, as expected, the velocity at each point, since they were the same distance from the middle, were about the same readings. They were all um, 800 feet per minute range on all the devices. However, um, Interesting is the uh, first column with the red would be the Taylor anemometer, which is a lot more inconsistent, as you see, with the uh, error bars associated with it. Yeah. Much larger than the other two devices. Uh, after looking at the inner radius of the fan, we bring four more trials with the outer radius of the fan, as you see here. And from that, got similar data, except uh, velocities were a lot slower than the inner radius, and uh, they were a lot less consistent than the inner radius velocities we obtained. At some points, the devices really weren't agreeing with each other at, at certain points, like 0.8, and oddly enough, 0.7 and 0.9, the same distance uh, from the middle, were much different readings. So, um, Compiling all this data, this is basically what the box fan will look at, look like, and this is the velocities we got at each point on the fan. As you see, it's um, approximately 800 feet per minute on the inner radius, but the outer radius varied a little bit. With the sides around 600, the bottom a lot lower than the top, as you see. Um, we also attempted to focus the airflow for Dr. Henry's request, and we use this styrofoam to focus the air only to come out those holes, as you see, to see how that would affect the airflow. And the results we got from that were real inconsistent. The hole wasn't large enough for the different devices. The Taylor and Turbo had a large, much larger uh, diameter than the x tech reading. So, x tech would probably be the most accurate of the three since the other two weren't getting real good data as you see. It was all over the place. So, so far we've only been able to look at one fan, haven't really uh, got to look at the other fans in the lab, so we need to measure the air velocity of different fans down in the lab. And also, Dr. Henry informed me that there's a hot, water, hot wire anemometer down in the lab that we can also record air velocities with, which is what we still need to work on. I don't think that's the 